Me Grimlock no see Dinobots. Me Grimlock only see Glacial Bots. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at a third party set. It's Fans Project Glacial Lord, the Glacial Bots combiner set. And as I've said in other videos, this is probably my most anticipated figure set of the year. Um, first and foremost, I want to apologize. I'm kind of a little raspy today, so uh, if my voice quality is bad, that's why. Also, it's bright and sunny out. I just mowed the grass, got the animals riled up, so you may hear some parrots screaming. Exactly like that. <laughs> so, yeah, these guys came uh, in the mail last week, and I was really wasn't expecting these guys until after Memorial Day. Uh, I ordered them a few months back. Uh, it was a five gift set, five uh, piece set, and they really initially came out last year. I know fan. Uh, uh, Vangelis had gotten an early one, and maybe Imgo? Might have been Imgo had gotten an early one, which was the first time I had seen these. And then they had released a limited run of these figures. Um, and I fell in love. If you don't know what it is, uh, these guys are a kind of a, a, a retro throwback toy. Um, they're called Retro Future Line, uh, as you can see right here. And what they are, they're basically a G1 toy. It's like a lost G1 combiner is what they're supposed to be. Um, if you don't like old school, blocky G1 toys, this is not the toy set for you. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, they were about, I don't know, two and a half, 200, 200 and some dollars, close to two, $250, I think, for the full set. I can't remember. Um... Not too bad considering you get all the figures. Now, what's really cool about it, uh, they really take the whole retro thing, retro thing into place here because all the boxes are distressed. All the corners look like they're tore up. Uh, Tusker, the main piece, he looks like he's been sitting in the sun for about 10 years, which is really cool. And I really do dig that. Now, this one, Mega Zero, he's kind of got a weird uh, box in the fact that uh, I, I want to say it was April Fool's. Um, they said the shipment, he was like the last guy, and the shipment fell in the ocean because the crane operator is playing with the toys, and uh, they found a backup of some Korean uh, figures to ship out, so kind of funny. But yeah, definitely cool stuff. We've got uh, Fingro, who is the Sabertooth Cat, formerly known as Sabertooth Tigers. we got Tail Club, who is a giant armadillo. Uh, from the glacial period, we've got uh, Tusker, who is a mammoth. Um, we have uh, Razor Spike, who is a woolly rhino. And then uh, Mega Zero is a giant elk creature thing. So yeah, very cool stuff. I will go through uh, the package in great detail for each individual figure. For now, let's just get this guy out of the package and form Glacial Lord. See what we think about him. All right, so here we have Glacial Lord combined in his gestalt mode, and he's pretty good sized. I do like him. I love the armament on the figure. Um, he kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Magnum Boss with the, the tusks coming around there. I love the four missile racks. That looks really, really darn cool. Um, yeah, overall, it's a pretty decent figure. Uh, it goes together pretty well. Um... The headpiece is kind of goofy um, to get it to sit right. And this whole back piece, I will say, um, this piece coming over, when you first uh, move it, it feels like you're about to break this thing in half. You have to have faith in the instructions that you're doing it right. Uh, but other than that, um, you know, it, it actually went together really, really well. Um, now, it makes sense now that the robots that had shields... Uh, the shields became feet, which was very cool, and the hands were actually stored 
up underneath the missile racks. So I didn't even know those were there. So very well done as far as hiding all the extra kibble because the other G1 combiners just did not do that. Um, now some of the other weapons uh, combine to make a bigger gun, uh, which was really kind of cool. Um, really nice, really fun. Uh, just an all around really cool figure. I really do like him. He stands really well. He's very well balanced. Uh, just really cool. Uh, the one thing, these ear pieces just do not like the snap in on mine. Um, and it kind of offsets the missiles a little bit, but not enough uh, to make me grumpy about it. So yeah, overall, I really do like him. I like the detail on the guy. I think he looks really cool. The other neat thing, uh, the ports, because uh, you got articulation here, here, um, I guess a little at the knee, not much. Um, the ports, though, can actually fit into any Scramble City combiner. So if you have any of the other G1 combiners, you can switch them out. You can actually use Stuckticons or Secons, Predacons, anything like that, and switch them out, put those into a set, put the Predacons into a set, the Secons, whatever. Uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. So it does work with the Scramble City power ports. Um, yeah, so let's see how this looks compared to an original G1 combiner. All right, so here is Glacial Lord facing off with King Poseidon. And, yeah, yeah or Piranicon, I guess, if you want to call him, whichever version you want to call him. He actually does sit up pretty well. I didn't think that he was going to be as tall. Um, the head is about the right size. I mean, it proportions out well uh, to an original G1 combiner. Of course, this Piranicon is the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. Um, reissue set with the original colors, uh, which is very cool. Um, but yeah, overall, I like him. I think he works well as an Autobot combiner. He's very big, kind of bulky, um, heavily armored, uh, uh, heavy, heavy weapons with all the missiles and the giant gun. I'm really definitely digging him. So there he is, Glacial Lord, uh, from the Glacial Bots of the Fans Project Retro Future Set. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, thumbs it up if you did. Thumbs it down if you hated it. Um, this is not a cheap set, so you're looking at a few hundred dollars to spend on this guy. Uh, and if you don't like G1 figures, don't waste your money. Um, this is strictly for G1 fans, and that's it. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, guys, and look for more videos in the future.